from the badminton team, Victoria Duong, Susanna Quach, Harry Kateras, Benjamin Hool. From the men's baseball team, Braden Taylor, Tyrus Bath, Dallas Smith, Sam LaBelle, Ian Swartz, David Bolato. From the men's basketball team, Jordan Francis, Alex Petronas, Daquan Cascart, From the women's basketball team, Janae Giles, Jessica Daniel, Maya Campbell Johnson, Teresa Da Silva, Nikki Elagan. From the cross country team, Natalia Milcherik. From the curling team, Brendan Jackson, Matthew Garner, Brady Lumley, Michaela Autogalli, Zach Shirtloff, Quinn Walsh, Jessica Byers, Megan Mallet. Emma Rebel, Austin Snyder. From the men's and women's golf team, Gabby Goldschlager, Jackie Goldschlager, Cameron Brennan, Haley McCallum, James Parsons. From the men's rugby team, Rajat Raj, Miguel Gabriel, Zach Shirtliff, Grant Clark, Juan Monago, Ehab Amen, Joshua Bapti. Richard Sheffield, Daniel Sheffield. From Women's Rugby Sevens, Dina Rahal, Alicia Hayes, Dana Licorish, Daniel Martins. Thank you. Stephen Schultz. Carmen Singh, Ezekiel Ayala, Azeldin Mosba, Rafael Awosu, Julian D'Souza, Marcos Nunez. From the women's soccer team, Taylor Thompson, Courtney Nadu, Brianna Zeffner, Julia Zonardi, Katarina Medeiros, Lily Campbell, Antonia Gatti, Stephanie Gutierrez. Remy Pelletier, Emily Robotai, Avery Trask, Cara Serapilia, Cassie Ettore, 
Alyssa Oliveira. Haley Lewis. Nicole Saragoza. Emma Genova. And first I would like to say I'm extremely proud of these young women. From the softball team, Presley Buchanan, Sarah Franchetto, Haley Pazma, Caden Watton, Emily Erskine, Julie Kostuk, Hannah Koziolik, Megan Muir, Michaela Moore, and Georgia Bernie. From men's volleyball, Max Crowder, Raddy Kim, Jaden Milne, Alec Loney. From the women's volleyball team, Olivia Foley, Lauren Schneider, Carly Manella, Megan Hunt, Alex Kristanisic, Julia Watson, Alex LaChapelle, Alex Bartman, Alex Dubé, Cassidy Andrews, Sydney Ferguson, Tessa Red. Hey Humber Hawks, this is Miguel Gaver from the Humber men's rugby team. I just want to start off by saying congratulations to all 97 athletes that made it to honor roll last semester. You know, we were put in a really tough situation where we had to deal with COVID, online classes, as well as our season being canceled. And for you guys to pull through and still get that 80% and up average is really, really amazing. You know, as an athlete, it was probably really, really hard for you guys to even transition from having practices, games, uh, therapy, and training every single day to not having anything at all and just sitting at your home. And uh, I applaud you guys for still pushing through and uh, making the best of what's happening in this situation. I'm sure you guys learned a lot of life lessons during this pandemic that you'll carry on later on in your lives. Me personally, I think the time management skill and improving that was one of my biggest things and being able to work efficiently and wisely, especially with all the freedom that we have and spare time from online classes. Academic is important to me because it's a stepping stone in ensuring that we create a very happy and successful life for ourselves and our families one day. And lastly, I just want to say thank you to the Humber Athletic staff and to always making sure we stay engaged through family feud nights, videos, and, you know, providing a platform for us to stay connected. Thanks, guys. Hi, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and hear my academic experiences as a student athlete during COVID. For me, being a student athlete the past four years has been a perfect balance between academics and athletics. While COVID changed a lot of things, something that I was able to stay on track with was performing academically. My experience last semester looked and felt a lot different than normal. However, with time management and adjusting to communicating virtually, I was able to excel and adapt to online learning. The amazing part about being a student athlete is the privilege to perform on and off the pitch. Academics is important to me because it is an opportunity to learn, grow and succeed in everyday life. With broadening my knowledge and understanding through the Justice Studies program, I believe that I'm working in a field that I'm truly passionate about. What it takes to becoming successful is having compassion towards yourself and others. For yourself, it's creating habits where you're setting goals and taking care of your well-being, both physically and mentally. Another important form of success is the way you treat others. This is appreciating, respecting, and understanding which has really helped me build strong and supportive relationships. I'd like to take this time to express my gratitude to all my professors, my colleagues in Humber Athletics for contributing to my ongoing success. To my coaches, Pudge, Dale, JC, and Phil, to my girls and the teammates who have created a new sense of family with, to Humber Athletics as a whole, and for supporting student athletes in every way. And lastly, I wanna thank and honor the High Performance Center to Joe, to T, and to Haley for creating a space in the gym for women athletes to truly excel in. Thank you so much. On behalf of Humber Athletics, I want to congratulate all of our honorable recipients. 97 student athletes achieved honors this past fall. 
Your resilience in excelling through hybrid and online education should be commended. I also want to acknowledge and thank Varsity Academic Coordinator Mallory Lott for her outstanding dedication and support of our student athletes through the pandemic. I would like to start by congratulating all 97 of the Fall 2020 Honor Roll recipients. I know that this year was challenging in a number of ways, but you have shown incredible grit, adaptability, and resilience, and earning honors is a testament to your efforts and dedication to academic excellence. I want to thank you for your hard work and commitment to your learning during the most unusual year. You've adapted to significant changes in the way that you learn and the way that you interact with the college and have done so with added pressures and without your sport. I commend you on your dedication to your academics. I know how hard you've all worked during this incredibly difficult year, and I want you to know that I'm extremely proud of your accomplishments. I would like to take this opportunity to highlight some of the special accomplishments achieved in the fall 2020 semester. To begin, I would like to congratulate the top two male student athletes with the highest GPA. From the men's soccer team, Stefan Scholes achieved a 94%. And from the curling team, Matthew Garner achieved a 93.9%. I would also like to congratulate the top two female student athletes who achieved the highest GPA. From the softball team, Hannah Kozioliak achieved a 93.4%. And from the women's soccer team, Elisa Oliveira achieved a 93%. Congratulations to Stefan, Matthew, Hannah, and Elisa on an incredible semester. From a team perspective, badminton achieved the highest overall average with an 83.8% and curling came in second with an 83.6% average. I would also like to highlight that there were five teams that achieved their highest GPA in program history. Congratulations to badminton, curling, women's soccer, men's soccer, and men's volleyball. Finally, I would like to congratulate the following student athletes on graduating from the fall 2020 semester. From the men's soccer team, Nick Machado and Carmen Singh. From the men's rugby team, Mauricio Raboli. From the softball team, Emily Erskine. From the men's volleyball team, Jaskar and Kelsey. And from the baseball team, Matt Stoddart. Once again, congratulations on an amazing fall 2020 semester. I am extremely proud of every honor roll student and every student that attempted courses last semester. I know that it wasn't easy and I know how hard you worked. I wish you nothing but the best for the winter 2021 semester and know that I'm always here to support you in any way that I can.